South Korea has named new ambassador to China, Japan, and Russia recently. It is notable in that the peace process on the Korean Peninsula by Moon Jae-in government is going through the greatest challenge due to the failed U.S.-North Korea summit in Hanoi. The three will be officially appointed after their host nations endorse the appointment in a process known as Agreman. This will organize a new lineup for Seoul's diplomacy with so-called four major powers surrounding the peninsula, which might be a strategic move for post-Hanoi. One of President Moon's closest aides is going to China, the biggest sponsor of North Korea, to promote the nuclearization of Pyongyang. Only ambassador to the United States remains at his post for stable and close cooperation between Seoul and Washington. This week, Korea Now would like to introduce each of the ambassadors to those powers respectively. Chang Ha-sung, former presidential chief of staff for policy, has been nominated as the new ambassador to China, a post vacant since former ambassador No Young-min became new presidential chief of staff in January. It is reportedly said Chang, an architect of the controversial income-led growth policy, has the full entrustment of President Moon. He, if appointed, is expected to face tough tasks of eliciting China's support for South Korea's efforts for denuclearization and last peace on the peninsula and enhancing Seoul's national interests amid a Sino-US rivalry. All the more, little experience in foreign affairs and scarce relations with China are considered as his obstacles to overcome. Challenges also lie ahead for the new ambassador to Japan. Nam Guan Pyo, former deputy chief of the Presidential National Security Office, is set to take over from Ambassador Lee Soo Hoon amid tensions with Tokyo over historical and other issues. Nam, as a Korean diplomat, handled treaty issues at Seoul's foreign ministry and worked at the South Korean embassy in Tokyo back in the 1990s. Hopefully, his experience is expected to be helpful in addressing a set of legal issues between the two neighbors. Lee seok -bae, the current Consul General in Vladivostok, was named to replace Ambassador to Russia Wu yun gun who has been involved in barbarous allegations at home. He is known for his extensive experience and expertise in Russia-related issues. He has mostly been posted in Russia since entering the Foreign Ministry as a non-Korean diplomat in 1991. Ambassador Zhou yun jae Seoul's top envoy to the U.S., is the most senior among those ambassadors to four major powers. Therefore, he has a lot on his shoulders to coordinate Seoul's effort to revive the well denuclearization talks after the Hanoi summit between Washington and Pyongyang, which ended without any agreement. As we've seen so far, now South Korea is making various attempts to bolster diplomacy for its peace efforts with North Korea. Will it be capable of bringing the negotiations back on the right track? What are your thoughts on this? Let me know with the comments below. Thank you for watching Korea Now and like and subscribe for more.